the first MFG Spartan flannel jacket. Let's talk about it. All right, what's going on YouTube? FXCL is broken is back in the building. And I don't like to just get new gear and take it out for one ride and do a review. I've waited for about a year of riding in almost every condition I could think of before giving this particular piece of gear a fair review. And in this video, we're gonna tell you all about the Spartan flannel jacket from First MFG. Love riding in a flannel? We get it. The Spartan flannel is specifically made for motorcycle rides with Kevlar reinforcements and armor pockets. It's also got a specialized water repellent coating to help keep you comfortable no matter the weather. And mesh lining, and you've got a high quality purpose-built flannel. So some of the features that they're telling us about is this is a true overshirt. You're gonna order this the same size as your t-shirt for a true fit or order up if you want to layer. It's a classic cotton poly flannel outer shell. The fabric has water repellent coating, good for up to 10 washes. Full snap collar, covered snaps, and crop center zipper. Two button chest pockets, two button slash pockets, two concealed carry pockets with tapered holsters, underarm vents, zippered at the wrist with gossets and button snaps, action back, mesh lining, Kevlar reinforcements on the shoulder and elbow, and armor pockets for CE armor. So that's first MFG's rundown of what you're getting with this particular jacket. What I'll do is I'll run through some of the glows and the high points of this jacket, and then we'll talk about some feedback for the good folks at first MFG for the next iteration of this in ways to make it even better. So the first highlight I'm gonna tell you about this is just the protection that you are getting with this jacket. You got Kevlar in the impact zones, nothing's gonna be Kevlar. When I'm looking at gear specifically for what's gonna give me the most protection, Kevlar is what I like to see, and Kevlar Kevlar is what's in this jacket. So that makes me happy. That makes me feel like I'm covered in the event of an incident. Now, not just Kevlar, but it's also got the CE Level 2 armor pockets. I'm running the CE Level 2 armor that you could buy from the first MFG website. And at this point, you now have something that just looks like a regular flannel that you're actually getting some serious protection with. Again, I am the rare Harley Davidson rider that actually does care about gear. And because I care about gear, I care about serious protection. So I like the fact that you're getting CE Level 2 armor. I like the fact that you're getting Kevlar and you're not sacrificing aesthetics, you're not sacrificing comfort. That was a high point that I felt throughout all my miles with this jacket. The next one, this is like a, this was a piece of gear that I was able to get my dad to wear. Throughout most of my riding career, one of my biggest battles has been getting my dad to take gear seriously. Like when I first started riding, dad would be wearing cut off gloves, a t-shirt and a half helmet. That would be it, sometimes no helmet. These days I got dad wearing a full face helmet and this flannel jacket. So the fact that this was a piece of gear that was accessible to somebody who was gear adverse, I think is a win of this product and says a lot about this product. So. If you're trying to get your dad to wear gear, if you're trying to get your grandpa to wear gear, if you're trying to get anybody to wear their gear, maybe have them throw this on. The next high point is just the general comfort of this jacket. Every time I wear this jacket, I legitimately forget that there is armor inside the jacket. The one thing that I think they have figured out with this is again, with the combination of the mesh liner and just the general design, this is just one of the pieces where you're gonna forget that you're wearing gear because it's so damn comfortable. And there's times where again, like if I know I'm not gonna be riding for a couple days, I'll take the armor out and this is something I'll wear to work. I'll wear this as an overshirt and, and it's a functional piece of clothing that I would wear every day, but then it's also a functional piece of gear. So it has the comfort that you'd want of a typical flannel jacket. And again, without sacrificing protection. I guess another highlight is I like the fact that this has all the features of a typical motorcycle jacket. I like that it has the chest pockets. I like that it has the slash pockets. I like that it has the concealed carry pockets. So again, when you're doing a typical day at the road, there's a lot of times where you need pockets for a lot of different things. This particular flannel does not let you down in that aspect. So again, I do like that it does have many of the features in terms of a typical club style jacket or vest. If you're someone that's gonna buy this jacket, for me typically, I'm usually gonna go for this jacket if, if there is a range of temperatures that say between 60 degrees to high 70s, as I feel like you'll be happy with this. Hotter than the 70s, you're gonna get a little bit toasty if you ain't moving. Lower than the 60s, you're gonna be chilly if you're not layering it up. 
So that's kind of the range that I would work between. But one of the things that I thought st stood out about this is again, for a single piece of gear, it has a lot of versatility. I wasn't running it this summer when we did our Tail of the Dragon trip where we actually dipped down south during a southern heat wave. But my dad was actually wearing this during a hundred degree days within a heat wave in the south and he was fine. So like he put it to the test. A lot of times I would look at him and be like, dad, are you okay wearing that? He was like, yeah, I'm good. You know, these vents just got me covered. So you could ask him about that. Me personally, I wouldn't be running this in hundred degrees, but it was cool to see it be put to that test and see my dad able to do that. And then, like I said, if you layer it up properly, you could run this well into the fifties. Below 50, I don't think I'd be running this. <laughs> so I like the fact that again, you could run this in a wide range of temperatures. Where I think this is probably gonna shine the most is probably the transitional seasons this is going to be your go-to fall spring jacket so i've given you a lot of highlights of this particular jacket right let me talk about some things that i feel like the next time they do an iteration of this some of the things that i think they could do better the first one is the obvious thing you all know me like i do not wear i do not like to wear a lot of black on my motorcycle you all know that the reason for that is visibility I would much prefer if this thing were a white flannel, a white and black flannel, an orange flannel, a neon flannel, something that would have some visibility or just like some reflection somewhere. Something so that I'm not just wearing full black because, because black blends very well into the color of asphalt and that's not what I want traffic to see. I want things that are gonna stand out so I'm seen on the road. So, my next iter so in the next iteration, I would like to see more options in terms of colors available for this particular piece. The next thing I'll say is, I don't know if they need to change it with this. I would like to have an option of this that doesn't have all the bells and whistles of a jacket. Something that's closer to an actual flannel, which would mean that there'd be less material on the inside. Like cut some of that liner in there, cut some of those pockets that's on the inside, but still keep the Kevlar and still keep the armor pockets and then I think you could push the weather. I think you could push the hotter weather that you use this in a little bit further. So it'd be cool to have a more minimal option of this that doesn't have, that is a more lightweight option without sacrificing protection. So those are my glows and my grows for the Spartan flannel jacket for first MFG. Overall, I think this is something you're gonna wanna have in your arsenal. This is one of your go-to pieces when you're riding in the transitional seasons. This is something you could layer. This is something you could run in the heat if you want to. As always, stay safe. One of the best ways to stay safe is wearing quality gear. If you are someone that is in the market for a piece like this, use my discount code. Save some money when you go to the first MFG website and put this in your cart. You can use this code not just on this jacket, on anything that you buy from the website. And that's all I gotta say about that one. On that, FXCLS Brooklyn is out. <laughs>